Yes. veins around here somewhere. I'll check it out. I like actually mining the ebony with the pickaxe. That's really cool. Ha, huh, nice. Obviously they didn't do that in the original. Um, that's cool. I like that. See, people do this. In spite of all the bugs and stuff, is the reason I play Moral Oblivion. That right there, perfect example. Um, anyway, see? Um, now then, hopefully I can grab some of this without being seen. How many pieces do I need? Four, isn't it? Something like that. Four samples of raw ebony. Right, that's one. Gah! Time that could, could have timed that better. The guy turned around just then. Um, is that no, it's, it's not. Uh, you find some more like that. No, it's just a rock. a little problematic because they're all like actually mining the veins. Swift hunting for the very veins I need to actually get my hands on, so Alright, technically I can't be seen right now. Let's see me do this. Ah oh, there we go. Right there's two pieces. Let me get out of there. There's too many people in this bit. Too many. Um let's see. seen from there. Uh, how about here? I can't reach the ebony from there. And, oh, quick save. Ah, oh, you found nothing of use. You're kidding. That's irritating. I hide behind here. Can I reach the... Sneak guns creased. Hooray. Uh, oh, I can just about get it. Just about... There we go. That's three pieces, I think. Let me just double check that. I hope she doesn't mind if the ebony's stolen, because otherwise we'll be in trouble. Um, what is it? Does it count as an alchemical ingredient? Yeah, it does. Three pieces. Yeah, then it doesn't count as stolen either, according to this. So, yeah. Three pieces. Just need one more. This bit over here. Ah, she's looking right at me. That's no good. Find somewhere else. Hmm. What if there's some in this cr these crates? Oh, there's some nice stuff in them, even though it's not actually ebony. Like that. And that. Thank you. Over encumbered, eh? Well, you know what I have to say to that? Feather spell! Yeah. And this one. Ooh, a silver spark sword! Which is actually kind of rubbish, but... Why are all the magic weapons in this game? Why do they have so... Such a low charge on them? I understand. Mm, it's worth a fair amount, but still. It's too much. Like this. Ooh, nice potion. Let's check I can't be seen yet. Uh, a couple of soul gems. That reminds me, I need to soul trap some stuff. Remind me to go and like hunt some beasties in the wild on the way back. And soul trap from some things so I can recharge my mm, dream and to keep casting that. At least it'll get my uh, alteration skill up. 
Um, yeah, remind me to soul trap some rats or something so I can recharge my uh, sword, my uh, jinx sword. Oh, four pieces in there. I could have just rubbed that in the first place. Never mind. Um, this stuff's heavy. I take I take a lot. I mean, they're worth two hundred each, but they also weigh ten each. So, all right, there we go. Mission accomplished. Let's get out of here. That old pixie elf hat. Um, <laughs> I always thought it was funny how uh, it's a Colovian fur helm, but you go to Colovia itself in the game, in Oblivion, you know. There are no Colovian fur helms anywhere. So, one of those odd little things. I think Maik the Liar actually made a comment about it in Oblivion. Um, he actually said, I, I miss my furry hat or whatever, when he was talking about how he, because he, in Morrowind he wears a furry hat like this, so. Um, oh, no. Damn it. Let's see if there's a way up around here. Instead. Which reminds me, actually, maybe, I wonder if you can find the original Maik in this place. In Morrowind, I mean, in Vardenfell. Whoops. Didn't mean to take that lantern, but never mind. I've got it now. Uh, oh God. Just let me up the hill. Come on. I'll have to go back to the thing now. Um, I fail so badly. I can't even walk across a bridge without falling off. But yeah. I wonder if the Morrowind Maik is still in the game as well as the Oblivion Maik. That'd be kind of fun. Maik clones! Maybe I'll do that at some point. I'll go on a little expedition up north to find Maik the Liar. I'm not entirely sure where he is. I just know that I think he's on a very small island in the north of the map with, like, a city on a stool with a fishing rod. Um, just by himself on this island, literally, for no apparent reason whatsoever. Um, right. Okay, so this way. See, I knew this spell would come in handy. Better not get into a fight though, because I don't want to be immobilized halfway through. Having said that, there'll probably be a Nyx Hound waiting around this corner for me or something. A cliff racer waiting to swoop down on me. Oh, what did I tell you? See, there you go. Ah. Right. Let's keep going. Ah, I forgot to soul trap it. Never mind. Plodding back to town. Get the teleporter to the Mage's Guild. Let you know it's quite late. What time is it? It's 9:15 p.m. I think we'll just uh, might as well get a room at the local inn, I don't think so. actually, and sleep it off. I mean, this guy must have been going for quite a few days now without a, a wink of sleep. So. <laughs> Actually, in all fairness, he could do with the rest, couldn't he? Oh, that's, that's a shop. Where's the inn? It's around here, isn't it? That's a trader. Ah, here we are. Shanks shop. Hopefully, it is an actual inn and not just a pub. Hunting, friend. You have words. Hello, Shank. Good day, I'm Shank. Publican of Shank Shovel here in Caldera. We rent beds, brilliant. And I have a limited selection of goods for barter if you need uh, stuff. 
Uh, bed. Yes, we have one available. Do you want it? I'll take it. Uh, go up the stairs to the third floor. The door on your left. Enjoy your stay. Um, food? No, what did he say? Good stuff too behind the thing, but we don't carry schema right here. No, no big surprise there. Let's get our weary asses on up to bed. <coughs> Third floor, I think he said. Oh, oh, uh, is it this door? No, that's a storage cupboard. Of course not. Uh, room door, that's more like it. Hmm. Not bad lodgings, it must be said. Uh, let's see. 12 hours. Dream. What? What? I had a disturbing dream. I can only recall one part. A tall figure with a golden mask led me among the dead as, as through a wedding celebration. I heard many voices, but no lips moved. I strained to breathe, but my chest didn't move. The tall figure spoke with each figure as he passed among them, laughing and joking as if they were alive, but they made no reply. I tried to cry out, but without breath, my tongue fluttered in vain. Oh, it's just, yeah, there we go. Oh, we've leveled up, nice. Strength, as usual. Yeah, speed's not really a big deal, unlike in Morrowind, because uh, you run re relatively fast in this. Let's upgrade. endurance because we need more health and agility because it governs stuff like sneak in that might as well there we go now let's continue our rest so yeah that's the main quest beginning to kick in if you've never played the main quest tomorrow in before and I'm kind of assuming you probably will have if you're watching this but then again maybe not maybe you've oh Go away. Go away. What are you doing? What are you, what are you up here for? What are you, what, what's your problem? 